<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. For them. But there's uh, been a bit of an interesting development with Miss Sarkeesian, if you'd like to hear about it. Well, P- tell people who she is. Uh, I don't even need- know if I need to. but I need Most some- people don't know. Well, you strange. live in a very insulated world. Like, well, if strange. I ask my mom who... Well, yeah, your mum won't know, but people who use the internet. frequency? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, of course your mum won't know. Uh, okay, Annie Sarkeesian is a, an internet feminist who decided, uh, after, after making a bunch of videos on her YouTube channel in, like, 2009 through to, like, 2010 or something... Uh, 12, um, she ended up getting a, a sort of, you know, favorable reception with the progressive intelligentsia, who were very feminist, very pro-social justice, and they liked her patter because it's, um, pretty stock, pretty, pretty stock in trade, and it's, and she was, she came across as being very respectable, you know, she's well presented, she's attractive, she's well spoken, she, she knows her patter, and so they, they promote her, they, you know, they made a big deal out of her. She sounds like a total bigot when she's talking about anything. A she, bigot? Yeah. How so? Because she'll just say, well, this is men. I mean, the, the whole premise of feminism is that men are oppressing women. And if men aren't oppressing women, then feminism has no argument. And they also have a sort of a, a, a thing they say to each other where you, you have the right to hate your oppressor. It's right to do this. And it's like, okay, but... I don't think there's ever a right to hate, even if you are being This oppressed. is something that she said personally? Not her personally. Oh, she probably has said it personally, but this is the, the sort of ideological thought. I mean, if you read their papers, if you read their if you read We're their doing media, that they-them thing again, right? Uh, well, so yeah, talking it, it, they're, okay, they're, talking they're, about hardcore feminists? Yeah, we, we are talking about like a specific sphere of academic feminists. In her case, sex negative. Um, S- sex neg- what? Yeah, they don't, they, don't, they don't like objectification. Hold they on. don't like what sexy sex, women and titties. Sex negative? Yeah, they don't like sexy women. Um, the male gaze so is like oppressing women Laura by Laura Croft, yeah. Tomb Raider. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that, was the, that was part of the big issue, right? Yeah, it was like ho- sexism horrific in video oppression games. Because of Lara Croft. <laughs> terrible, terrible oppression. I don't know how women can get over it. But uh, Anise Sarkeesian stepped up and was like, you know what? It's wrong to look at these tits. And everyone was like, but she's wearing a really tight top for a reason. And she's not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so basically Anise Sarkeesian comes from a school of sex negative feminism. And she decided that she would take advantage of all this. Now, in 2010, there was a video, I think it was 2010, that the video was recorded in black and white of her in a university giving a speech where she says, I'm not a gamer. I had to learn a lot about gaming to get into all this. And then come 2012, I mean, that, but that, that video wasn't released until after she did her Tropes vs. Women in Gaming Kickstarter. 2012, May 2012, she starts this Kickstarter and... When I was in the, within the first few days, she starts posting updates on that. I'm being harassed. It's like, well, yeah, people generally react negatively to phenomenal bigots on the internet. They they don't like it. People don't like it. I mean, like when you say men are oppressing women, and everything she says is a variant of men are oppressing women. You know, it's like the male gaze is highly oppressive to women. Toxic masculinity is highly oppressive to women. So, okay, when when can men legitimately look at women, Anita? No answer. What is what is non-toxic masculinity? There's no such thing. So what you're saying is masculinity and men checking out chicks is just bad and you hate it and the men are all bad for doing this and they're oppressing the women when they're doing this. Well, that's why I said it seems like she's a bit of an if opportunist. T- she's got oh, oh, an angle oh, and yeah. she realizes that there's a lot of yep. attention that goes towards that angle and she yep. runs with it. I mean, if I turned around and said all women are a bunch of manipul- manipulative slags who will take your money and run, they'd be like, you're a fucking misogynist. All right, but I got to stop you there because I don't think she's ever said all men. I don't think she said that. She, she, doesn't, she just uses the term men. But you, but I don't think she does. I mean, I, don't, I really she? don't think she says. Yeah, I think so. She has that guy is her fucking head guy who writes for her. What, Macintosh? No, she fired him years ago. Oh, sad. I know. What I know. is he doing now? He, nothing, basically. The, this, this terrible little thing. But I, I want to I set the record straight in a few things because this, this is something that really annoys me. So um, I went to VidCon recently. and VidCon? Uh, yeah. What you, is that? YouTube convention that's oh. in Anaheim. Sounds like a good time. It was a really good time for me, but... Uh, <laughs> It wasn't wasn't for them. Their their panels look like a bloody death march. When they spotted us sitting in the crowd, their like faces like, oh god. And it's like, why they get upset at you? Yeah, just because we sat there listening to what they had to say. In fact, okay. say, <laughs> have you not heard about this? No, dude, I'm insulated. Oh, dude, this is this I is live actually in the real hilarious. World. It's right? crazy. So Anita Sarkeesian, uh, she spots me <clears> sitting in the audience, and then she starts freaking out. Freaking out. Yeah, she starts she starts saying things like, "There's a constant harasser of mine calling me." You know, she called me a shithead. She called me a garbage human. A garbage human. I did nothing to her. 
I didn't say a word. I just sat in the audience while she's there cussing me out on the stage. I mean, this now. For so a... she's on the stage with a microphone. Yes. She's calling you a shithead and, and a, a garbage, garbage human. human. And this was because you've made videos about her? Is that this what it is? This is because I've made videos debunking her points. Like, And she she's under the impression that all of my videos are about her. And I actually, on the ride over, I got people to like counter up for me. Uh, I've, I've made around 30 videos in about four years referring to her. And that's, that's a lot. No, 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 no. It sounds, no, hey, dude, it sounds like a lot. But that's, that's <clears> less than 4% of the videos I've made. I've made 780 videos. I work hard. I'm sure you do, you know? but that's still 30 videos. Yeah, I don't care if you've made 100 million videos you well, still make 30 videos about her i don't think that's a large number you know maybe well, it's a large number compared to anita who hardly does any bloody work but but, but if that's that's another interesting point yeah. but what's what's interesting about it is if someone puts something out there mm. you know you're gonna you're gonna expect that someone is gonna come along especially a guy like you that is very opinionated and mm -hmm. if someone has very different opinions in yours you're going to have a contrary point of course like, that's definitely not harassing it better have, not be well it can't be it's we're in a scary discourse. position if that's exactly. it's terrifying yeah so how are you how are you harassing like what, what was not. the and it, that's the thing what's it, the it, worst thing you've ever said about her that she's wrong as that's far it. As, yeah well yeah i mean she's it, she uh, you will never find someone who says she's a she's a good critic She's a terrible critic, and she always has been. She's always been. It's always been rightly pointed out to her that she's cherry picked every time. No one stands by her work. She's become like a symbol of feminism because of all the harassment she's received. Now that, that is a part of the problem, right? Uh, that yeah, yeah. victim culture. Exactly. It's a very strange. Exactly. Uh, like you don't get any props unless someone's sending you yeah. horrible messages, yeah. and then because a lot of people sucks. have been caught doing it to themselves, which is oh, really yeah. fucked up. Yeah, 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 loads like the Black Lives Matter activists and whatnot. But yeah, so basically. She's her work sucks. It's it's just bad work. I mean, nobody in the video game industry would turn around and say, you know what, that's great criticism, Nita. Only only like the progressive press. What Black Lives Matter? Oh, it was it, it was ages ago. A protest. They they basically oh. had run around into the university's computer system, logged into a fake Twitter account or something, sent oh. themselves a bomb threat, <laughs> and the police tracked it down, and they were like. We have the video camera footage of you doing this, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was actually really funny. Um, but yeah, People so, are so funny with their need to be a victim. It, like, well, it's, it, it validates yeah. them. Yeah, it's, it really does. When you don't have an argument, you need to be a victim. Well, does she expect that well, somehow let, let or me, another she's going to be able to put these points out and not have anybody dispute these points? Well, I'm guessing so. And she always she always conflates all criticism with harassment. She's never addressed a critic before. Oh, okay. And the first time she addresses a critic, it's me, and she's calling me names. Yeah, that's and not... Like, well, that's not, not, not very mature. Look. Yeah, it's not, not very good. It's not but a good the, look. She, sa she <laughs> says that I'm responsible for all of the harassment. Now... All this, of it. Well, at least... It's you definitely know, not hers. It's not her fault. <laughs> no, no. If it's you have a, a controversial it's opinion fault. and someone disputes it, that person who disputes it is yeah. responsible for all the harassment. Yeah. Well, basically, I've, I've, always, I've always said, from, right from the get-go, don't ever contact them. Don't ever contact them. Because for a start, I mean, it, they don't want to listen. She's not interested in hearing your fucking opinion. So don't right. bother. She's got nothing but contempt for you. But secondly, don't send her harassment because A, it's immoral, and B... She's got the victim card that gives her money when right. she, when you go when you send her a message saying hey Nita I think you're a bitch, she goes cha ching you know and then she runs off to the next interview where she gets paid I mean some some of her speeches at university she's been paid twenty grand a speech that's hilarious I'm not joking right and it's just and for her to go the internet's being mean to me well maybe if you weren't being a bigger online they wouldn't be maybe if you actually did some solid work and didn't say video games are making everyone sexist which they're obviously not this wouldn't be happening to you but the, the thing that pisses me off most about the uh, accusations towards me of harassment apart from the fact that I've never harassed her and if there was any evidence that I'd harassed her it'd be all over the internet right now you know I mean you, it would be nothing but Twitter of course, yeah. you know because they're trying to paint me as a harasser when I'm actually just a critic of hers and I've always been completely against it but what really annoys me is that her Kickstarter, if you look at it now, if you go, go to it, you can pull it up now and you can see tropes versus women and like, you know, she's got a spiel and then, oh, the terrible messages, the harassment, the harassment. That was in May 2012. I didn't make a video on YouTube until July 2013. This has been happening to her her whole career. It's nothing to do with me. It's to do with her. It's because she's a dick <laughs> and everyone can see it. You and everyone's sick of it. You call a girl a dick like you call a guy a pussy? Yeah. I'm calling her a dick. I don't I care. Know. You're a dick, Anita. Everyone <gasps> knows you're a dick. He looked into the camera. Do you know, That's do you know harassment. Do you want to know something? I've spoken to a lot of interesting people recently since I've been here. Yeah. A lot of people who know you personally, Anita, and they say everyone hates you because you're a dick. 
Oh, this is getting mean. Um, did you hey, ever you find that video? you should have seen the she put up about me today. Another one? Well, yeah, just calling me a harasser, calling me all this stuff. It's like, no, you're a dick, Anita. You're just being a dick. Did you find a video of her saying that there's no biological difference between the sexes and that it'll men's be, strength? It'll be buried in the middle of like a 30-minute I, I really diatribe. I really think that it was her now that I'm thinking about yeah, this no, video. I, I've, I've, I've looked at it as well. Maybe she took it down or something, because I remember seeing it, and I wish I'd saved Someone's it. Someone's got to save it. Yeah. Someone so, has so, saved so, it. Someone on the internet will be able to tweet at us or something. But that, yeah. that is so, so hilarious because oh, yeah. it's so contrary to biology, just well, actual every, science. Everything she says is contrary to reality. I mean, she'll sit there and she'll pick out, like, like the game Hitman. In her video, she said something like, uh, you're incentivized to, to kill the woman and then, <sighs> then stuff her body in a, a trunk. And the footage she's using, which she didn't take herself, obviously, and didn't credit whoever took it. In the footage she's using, you see, like, the, the guy go up and kill the girl. And you see them lose points. And it's like, no, that's a disincentivization. You know, they're, right. they're not incentivizing you. They're saying they're penalizing you for this, Anita. You ju I mean, I thought I, my very first video was to Anita as well. You know, you, I, your it, very first my video very was first to one her. in like July 2013, and I, I, the, the, the quality so this started terrible. off because of her. Yeah, yeah you I, were the, inspired. Well, kind of, but I, it, it, there was a lot of things that kind of you know it, that were going on. That I was like, you know, I, I feel the need to say something. Just, uh, but I, I, apart from the quality being terrible, I'm bewildered. At her, but I, I listened to it the other day, and I was just like, "Wow, I had no idea what was going on." And I was just like, "Look, Anita, I think you're just wrong on this. I think you, I don't think you understand. Like, the there is a lot to this that you you've you've left out. You, um, I should have said cherry picked, but you know, and that's that's something that's dogged her whole career because that's all she's ever done. Her criticism's terrible, and everyone knows it. Nobody likes her because she's a divisive bitch, and all she does is play the victim. She's got nothing." She has nothing, and all she does is lie. Well, let's not talk about her specifically, because well, we're, we're kind of beating her down here. But well, this this, is, the thing the, is, it's hard to think of anything genuinely good about her. That's well, we the problem. Let's not talk about her. I mean, what I'm saying is about this, these ideas. Instead of concentrating on her as a person. This, What's the point? They've been debunked a million times all over the internet by everyone and their mother at this point. I don't. I well, what I want to get to. What's interesting to me is like what causes them. What causes these people to group up oh. into these weird sort of echo chambers and start reiterating can. things that don't really work or make sense? Like mm, there's no biological question. difference between men and women, especially when it comes to strength. There's and then the the tropes about video mm -hmm. games and also like. Here's the other thing, like when that Gamergate thing happened, yeah. it was it was really fascinating to me that everybody wanted to absolutely lump people in one or two categories, mm. and the two categories are people that are appalled to it, appalled by it, and that think that you know sexism is abhorrent and all this yeah. stuff is terrible, and then the other people who supposedly if you if you wanted some sexy images in video games, you had to be a piece of shit. Oh yeah, like if There's you sex negative feminists. I was yeah, talking about. well yeah. that. But it got into this weird category where people are like, hey, we don't want you meddling with yeah. with art. And yeah. whether it's a Frank Vizetta Censoring painting. It. Yeah, I mean, like if you look at some of Frazetta's mm -hmm. stuff with uh, the girls with the bikinis and I'm swords. I'm actually not and, familiar, but I mean, <clears throat> hell. Famous fantasy yeah. artist. Oh, well, are we sort of like talking about like the 80s artwork. Yes. Where they're or really beautifully painted. It's yes. like these oiled barbarians. Exactly. You know? so it's, a, it's a celebration of the human physique at this yeah. most perfect zenith. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. It's yeah. all Robert E. Howard's books yeah, yeah, on yeah, Conan, yeah, Conan and yeah, Frazetta right. yeah. was like the Nothing most it. famous Nothing of the. Yeah, it was, but it's very uh, cartoonish depictions of women. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, like yeah. with giant tits and yeah, bra yeah, yeah. and blood all over the place. And yeah, it's 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 fun. like you know, yeah, it's, it's silliness. It doesn't make you hate women. Like that's what's <laughs> gross. Like just like looking at Fabio on the cover of yeah. a romance do novel doesn't mean you hate men. It yeah, yeah. Right, in, right. In, fa in fact, it seems you're kind of lionizing them. Look, this is this is the perfect depiction of what the artist wanted to see, like a man look like, you know, huge rippling hero carrying the maiden or whatever. Right, but it becomes uh, this weird thing when it's a man, people don't have a problem with it. Like, no don't. one says that it demonizes the male figure <laughs> and that, you know, that you have set these unnatural standards, so you fucked with the self-esteem of all these young of men. Not. But you absolutely have, in the same way you do it with women. Like body shaming or you know having ridiculous standards mm. for bodies for females that uh, works with men too it's the same well, of thing it does. yeah of course it does but they they don't care because feminists dichotomize the world as women being oppressed and men the oppressors and it's okay to hate your oppressor yeah. that's that's the that's the root of all feminist thought but that's why i want to talk about this in terms of the ideas because i think it's kind of the same thing as the right versus the left and i think it's all like a, a symptom no, of human not, psychology right the right the right versus the left is tribalism you it know, is tribalism but so is female versus male 
It's it's these. It, it the, when you look at this blind allegiance towards anyone with a vagina, it's very similar to oh, someone yeah. who has blind yeah. allegiance to anyone who's in a red state. Yeah. That, this uh, VidCon thing that you went mm. to. What? Who puts this together? Hank and John Green. And who are they? The Vlog Brothers. They're famous YouTubers. Oh. And uh, I find it very interesting. When Anita was calling me a shithead and garbage human, that's a direct violation of their code of conduct. And did they do anything about it? No. They and do I, it because she's a feminist. It, because she's, an she's a woman. Oh, because she gets special. It's Why? because she's an East Because Why does she, she get special treatment? Because at this point, she's basically become the avatar of feminism. If she fails... Is that she, real, though? I swear to God, in their But mind, I mean, is she respected in that world? No, no, everyone hates her. Why do they still prop her up? Because she's an East Sarkeesian. If uh, she goes down... That doesn't make any sense. What I does know. that mean? Well, so, there's a mythos that's built up around her. And Ooh, that's a good word. Yes. It's... Um, <laughs> and they've all propped her up. They've all propped her up. They've all said good things about her, they've all defended her, and if it turns out that she is in fact an abuser, which she did, according to the VidCon Code of Conduct, which it What is, is the Code of Conduct? Oh, I, I can't remember it verbatim, but I, I read it out in a video. Uh, it's one of my latest videos. Um, it was just a quick message to Hank and John Green, and uh, I know that thousands of people emailed them saying, hey, look, she did violate your Code of Conduct from a position of institutional privilege at VidCon. She was on the panel. I didn't have a microphone. She had a microphone. She's calling me names. She's accusing me of things that aren't true. She, and she was doing that while you were in the audience? Uh, directly, looking me in the eye. And it was like, okay, that's fine, but... Uh, that's not right. And they've done nothing. They have done nothing. They've said nothing. Did you talk to and them then, about it? And then afterwards, all I got from her fans, and, and I mean like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of messages, all, and I just retweeted them all night with exactly the same language she uses when she's displaying, oh, look at the nasty messages I'm getting of people calling me a garbage human, which is what she called me. And so she has done absolutely nothing different. And so I said, right, Hank and John, She's violated your code of conduct. Her fans, she's incited a cyber mob of harassers, exactly as she claims I do, but she has actually done this. Then on the Saturday, she was due to be on a panel about cyber harassment. <laughs> See, but it can't be harassment when she's a woman and you're a man because That's you are exactly. the oppressor. So it's the same exactly. thing as racism, so like the, a black person being racist only, against a white person yeah. is impossible. But the only, the only reason to do this then, to not to take no action, right. is if you are highly ideological. And in, interestingly, keep, so you feel like they're high uh, highly oh yeah. ideological. Oh yeah, incredibly biased. But why are they, if they're YouTube stars? I mean, aren't they like, don't they're they understand? They're very progressive. They're very progressive. Very progressive. But you're fairly progressive, too. No, I'm a liberal. I'm not progressive. But what is the difference between a liberal, a a liberal, liberal and progressive? A liberal wants quality of opportunity, a progressive wants quality of outcome. Quality of outcome. <laughs>